guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. I am so, so, so excited for this one because today marks the first of the Christmas gift guides that I'm gonna be doing a little series here on my channel throughout November and December. So definitely if you are looking for some inspiration for gifts to get people that you love, then definitely hit subscribe down below because I'll be doing a lot of these types of videos. But the first one I have to do, I couldn't do any other than the toddler Christmas gift guide. This is like my ultimate Christmas gift guide for toddlers. And for reference, these are things that I've mainly got for my son. They're all out in front of me now. My son, George, who is two, he was two in September. So he is, what does that make him? 20, 26 months old. <laughs> that sounds really weird, but yeah, he's a two year old. So most of the things I'm going to share with you are perfect for that age group, but I actually did a gift guide series on my channel last year when he was obviously one. Um, and a lot of the things that I mentioned in that video still stand in this video. Like they still are really, really good gifts, but I'm gonna try and not to repeat myself. So if you wanted to go and check out last year's videos as well, loads of those are really, really, really good options. So I would link, I'll link that down below if you wanted to go and check out last year's, because I'm gonna try, like I said, to not repeat myself in this one, because there's just so much that I could say. Um, some of the things I am gonna mention are things that I'm gonna get him for Christmas. Some of the things are basically things that he's loved and used uh, since he's been sort of in this age range around like the toddler, the twos, the twos guys. Hit me up in the comments if you know how the twos are going for me right now. But yeah, so without further ado, I think I'm just gonna crack on straight into it. I'm gonna link every single thing that I mentioned down in the description box down below. So without further ado, let's crack on. Okay, so the first thing that I had to mention was the Toot Toot Driver Garage from uh, VTech, I believe. So this is one of George's favorite toys, absolutely hands down, one of his favorite, favorite toys. He absolutely loves this. He got this for his birthday, but he actually had this previously. Um, it was like a secondhand one that he had. Um, and then that was like returned to the toy swapping service that we were using at the time. But this is actually one of his, this is actually his one now and he loves it. He loves it so much. It's bright, it's garish, it's plastic but he loves it, he loves it so, so much. They do these ones on Amazon and they are really affordable this time of year because of the Black Friday sales. So I would definitely check that out down in the description box where I'll link it. But if you don't wanna get a brand new one like this, then you could always check out your local Facebook marketplace and things like that because people often will resell these um, for like half the price. So if you're on a budget this year um, and you're looking to potentially save some money, then maybe that's something worth checking out. You never know, you do get some good bargains on there and really good quality things. So I wanted to mention this one for sure. To go with the garage, you also have the Toot Toot Driver cars. If you don't know what these are by now, I don't know if you're a toddler mum or not because these are like the absolute go-to things. Honestly, these things are like, George likes all kinds of cars. Like he has a whole basket full of cars. Like this is his car basket. But for some reason, these two two driver ones are his all time favorite. They make noises if you turn them on. I'm not going to turn them on because it will ruin the video, but they are really, really good. And you get like a massive set of these to go with the um, two two driver garage, which you can get again on Amazon. I love them. And whenever George is having like a little bit of a meltdown, if he doesn't want to get in the car or something, I give him one of these and turn it on and like flash or it flashes and like beeps at him and stuff. And he's just automatically like intrigued with it. So I think these are just something that I don't think he's gonna grow out of anytime soon. They also do the track to go with the garage and the cars, which are also linked down below. So I think if you're looking for like a big set piece and your kid likes cars or tracks or anything like that, then the garage, the track, and the cars is just an absolute win. I'll link all of those down below. And yeah, one of George's absolute favorite things. As long as you don't mind plastic and garish. I mean, I think as a two year old mum, I think I'm just past it now. So yeah, speaking of cars, I've got these really cool um, little, I don't know, they're like fabric cars. They're like squidgy cars, but they go so, so far. So you literally pull it back like that, and then it goes really, really fast across an entire room, um, and my toddler really, really loves these. So I thought I'd mention those ones as well. You can get them in B&M, you can get them in Home Bargains, but they also do them on Amazon, so I'll link these ones down below as well. Moving on slightly, but not too dissimilar, if your kid is into Paw Patrol, guys, 
this is where it's at. George got so excited when I gave him these for his birthday. So he got um, the, if you're not Paw Patrol parents, as in if your, parents, if your kids don't watch Paw Patrol, then you might not understand, but he got the Paw Patroller, yeah, and it go and it makes loads of noises and stuff. It can go like as a helicopter and it can go as a plane. Um, and it has like compartments at the front where Chase can sit and all of the other parts. Um, and then they also have like a little exit at the back. George just loves this. He literally runs around going, Meow, and he loves it so much because it's something he recognizes off of TV. So that is something that I would highly recommend. Again, this one is actually quite affordable for one of the bigger toys because they can bump the prices up on these kind of things when they're like related to a TV show. But this one is actually quite affordable for one of the larger pieces. So I'll link the Paw Patroller down below. They also then have like all of the individual little cars and um, vehicles for all the different parts. So this is like Rubble's one, we've got Sky here. We've also got like a Tracker one, we've got a Rider one, like we've got a few of them. And I'll link some of my favorite ones down below. George really likes the Sky one because it has little, okay, they're not even in there at the moment because standard, um, but they have like little jets things that like fly out and you can like shoot people with it basically. It doesn't hurt, it's very, very harmless, but it's just nice little, it's like a nice little additional thing. So yeah, George really loves this um, yeah, and the rubble. He loves all of them to be honest. Like I said, they have really good deals on the Amazon Paw Patrol stuff at the moment and actually just all of this stuff, Amazon wise on Black Friday sales and basically the whole of November um, and the lead up to Christmas to be honest. The deals are so, so good on Amazon. So I'm gonna link those ones down there specifically. Next up on the ultimate toddler gift guide is a wooden train set. Guys, guys, my toddler is so, so heavy handed. He's so like physical and like runs around a lot and loves jumping and like doing whatever. He's like very, very active. But for some reason, a wooden train track makes him sit down and just play really nicely for like half an hour. And it's just, it's magical. Trust me on those Sunday mornings when all I want to do is sit down with a cup of coffee. It's just, it's just literally a gift come true. So I would highly recommend a little wooden train set. The one that I have is actually a wooden train set that he got for his birthday uh, from one of my best friends. And she got him the Jacks of London train set. It's like a really small train set. Like a, it basically goes in like a figure of eight and it has lots of little, bits so like it has stop signs and it has sort of warning signs and trees and obviously a little wooden train as well so it has like nice little bits that you can add as well like to make it like a nice little scenic area it's certainly a really good tester set to see if your toddler likes that kind of thing and it's a really nice like a wooden train set is like a really nice keepsake i think for like for the years to come the only thing i would say is the jacks of london one doesn't come with an extension pack which is what i wanted to do for george because he loves it so much i wanted to get him a bigger version uh, or like an extension pack to go with that but the Jacks of London one doesn't come with it I will link that one down below because it's quite affordable for what it is however I have seen on John Lewis this amazing I'm going to pop a picture up here this amazing train set for like 50 or 60 quid I think they do quite a lot in John Lewis actually um, in terms of wooden train sets and the quality is really really good I've been into the shop and stuff and seen it like in actual life in real life the one that I'm going to get George for Christmas is 65 pounds it has so much included and he is going to absolutely love it like I said he absolutely loves his Jacks of London one so he's going to get that and actually it is compatible with the Jacks of London one so it's only a wooden train set isn't it so they are all interconnectable which is amazing so I think he's going to absolutely love that the other kind of more, I guess, like luxury version is a, the Brio train sets. They are incredible, absolutely incredible. But like I said, my toddler is a little bit heavy handed and I don't think he's quite ready for the, I guess, the intricacies of the Brio train sets because there's so, there's so many moving parts to it. They're so, so incredible. I would love to get him that maybe in a year or so when he's like a little bit less, you know, <laughs> but they are a lot more expensive and you don't get as many pieces I guess but you do get more like intricate bits that are cooler like they are really really interesting so I will link down below the Jacks of London one the small small set that I've got already I'll also link down below the John Lewis one that we're getting him and I'll also link um, the Brio train sets as well that are on Amazon because again 
there are some deals on. So if you do want to get a Brio train set, have a look at some of the videos of the Brio train sets because they are so, so good. Um, but yeah, just have a little look and see what you think. But I'll link all of the wooden train sets down below. If you don't quite think your toddler is ready for a wooden train set, and like I said, if they're like heavy handed or anything like that, or they're just not into that kind of thing just yet, my mum got this for George's birthday and he loves this just as much. It's like the Mega Blocks train. He's had like Mega Blocks for ages, like my first set of Mega Blocks, which I'll also link down below because they're so, so good. Perfect gift. They're literally a tenner just perfect what toddler doesn't like building like it's perfect um but this is like an add-on again to that and this is something that he really really loved you can see like the box is very well used um so inside you get loads and loads of bits um including like three little train bits that connect with each other just like that and they go along obviously you can build on top of it and they all have like letters and numbers all on it and he just absolutely loves it honestly his favorite thing to do is like choo 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 comes home asks for choo choo so he either means his wooden train set or he means this one so yeah i would highly recommend both of those but yeah i think this is probably probably more toddler friendly if i'm totally honest yeah this is like a 60 piece set so there's loads and loads and loads in there and if they've already got like mega blocks as well you can like use those all together or you could get the mega blocks and this and that would make a really cool gift next up is an aqua doodle or something very similar so i'm sure you guys know what an aqua doodle is already but george loves this so much again a birthday present that he got this year and he loves it so the pens are, if you don't if you don't know what aqua doodle is so the pens are natural pens they're basically just like sponges there um, and you add water into this bit here and then because of like the magic the magic behind aqua doodle um this is just like a magic piece of sheet that you can draw on like this and then it will fade after a certain amount of time and once it dries george loves drawing on this because he actually loves drawing so much but he is just a bit of a rascal and he normally will come if it was a real pen or even with this but like generally on a real pen he'd just like draw all over my furniture and the table and the walls like he's done that so many times so we only ever really do a drawing outside on the patio in chalk or on our aqua doodle or sometimes we do do it on his easel and his chalkboard but only under very strict conditions because I'm not just I'm not literally spending the rest of my life <laughs> scrubbing the walls uh, from felt tip or anything like that so yeah this is a really really good toddler friendly little thing plus i really like it as well it's a really fun little thing to do so yeah mess free and it's still fun so that's just perfect i'll link it down below there are probably loads more toys that i could talk about i do actually have a few favorites from last year that i haven't put in this video that i kind of wanted to mention but i will i won't mention them i'll just pop them down i'll pop the link to last year's video in the description box so you can look at those um the things that i recommended last year if you wanted to but moving on slightly to like more clothing type stuff i really wanted to mention these again i did mention these last year but i'm gonna mention them again and they are sleeping bags with integrated feet guys in the winter these are an absolute game changer i don't know about you but when george is cold in the night he'll just wake up and he'll be like cold he'll say cold um so and where he's like quite wriggly and stuff like he doesn't keep his duvet on he's in a duvet in, like in a proper little bed now um but yeah i think this is just a lifesaver like he's never gonna get cold in this you have loads of different like togs and stuff that you can get these ones specifically are from slumber sack that we got last year any are gonna be absolutely fine but these ones have zips and and poppers as well if you are still like changing nappies and stuff if you need to if it's really cold um but yeah i absolutely love these so I am going to pop these ones down below as well. I'm sure if you are a toddler mum, you already have lots and lots of wellies, but for, don't know about you guys, they go missing so quickly. So we got these for George and these are, he's so, so cute wellies. They're filthy because we use them like all the time. He's got two pairs. He's got one at nursery, one here. And I just love these ones. They've got like little clouds and raindrops on. And actually when they're wet, the clouds and raindrops change colour, which I thought was really sweet. And they are fleece lined inside. They keep his... Uh, feet nice and warm and everything so i just wanted to mention those i got these ones on etsy and they're just they're just super cute other things to mention are a snowsuit or a puddle suit depending on what you call it and like the thickness of it i guess 
I love these because obviously they don't just get like filthy everywhere and you can still go outside in the winter and like when it's muddy and cold um, and like playing in the garden is one of George's absolute favourite things so I, I, yeah like a snowsuit or a wetsuit or a, or a puddle suit whatever you want to call it is the perfect perfect gift for Christmas. I would highly recommend this one that I got from H&M, I'll pop it up on the screen here. It's so nice so like luxurious it feels like it's gonna last I, I yeah i just really really like it plus it looks super cute so i would recommend that one i also have a couple of others from next um so yeah wherever you can sort of get your hands on them but this one in particular i really really loved one of the things i wanted to mention that i'm getting for george this year is this lcd tablet for writing so this is it's so cool i just absolutely love the idea of this so it's an lcd tablet um, and it's this one's in the shape of a dinosaur you've got it in loads of different um colors and like you can get it in loads of different shapes and stuff i'll link this one down below because i just absolutely love this you can get this in like pink and blue and all the all the good colors um but this is just so cool i've got it on lock at the moment so if i just unlock it when i press this eye this will all disappear like that and you can start again and i just thought that was so cool george is going to absolutely love this doing little drawings or whatever you can just literally draw whatever you want to draw and then it will come up i don't know if it's coming up too well on screen it's basically like do you remember what extra sketch was when we were younger press the eye and it all goes it's basically like that but an lcd screen and it's just better it's like not as like do you remember it was really like fuzzy and stuff whereas this one it's actually really really good so i will just do like a george i mean that's awful 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 handwriting but you get the point i think he's gonna really really love this because he loves like drawing and stuff like that like i said with his aqua doodle and things but this is like a pen and paper sort of vibe um so i'm gonna get him to like do little drawings on it i'm just doing a little stick man yeah literally this is my drawing skills so don't judge but yeah i really really like this one and they're so cheap they're so affordable they're on amazon there's loads and loads of listings of them but i'll link this one down specifically because this one was a really good one like it arrived and i was like wow it's actually really good quality and like yeah it's really really good so i'll link this one down below something that we wanted to get george for christmas this year were some updated books because his books are very like kiddy like babyish um and like literally some of the books have like one word on per page and every single night now we are reading him a book to get him to sleep so i wanted to share george's favorite book with you guys and again it was a it was a birthday present from one of my friends and it is monkey puzzle by julia donaldson his absolute favorite book it gets him to sleep every single time he absolutely loves it actually we get to the end of the book and he goes one more and he always wants me to read it again it's literally it's just the best it's a really 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 nice book it has lovely lovely like illustrations which he absolutely loves like he really really loves it all of the words and stuff rhyme which i think he actually really likes and i swear to god he actually knows i actually swear that he knows the words some of these words like he's learnt words from these books um like he knows like because it's all about animals and stuff goes through all the different animals and then until he finds his mum um and he like points at the animals and says what they are and things so i just i wanted to share this book because it is one of his favorite ones and i really love the julia donaldson books as well i wanted to share this one specifically because like i said it was george's favorite but also i've seen on amazon and i'm gonna get it for george without a doubt like i said to update his like book collection is the julia donaldson book set that you can get so on amazon there's like a set of i think eight books or ten books and they're all julia donaldson books so like the gruffalo i think there's like the one with the witch on the broom i can't remember what it's called um and actually it doesn't have this one included which is perfect for me so that because i've already got this one i could obviously like add the others to his collection so i'm gonna get that i think it's only like 10 pound for a whole set of books maybe maybe 15 but yeah like a perfect perfect little book collection for him because i know he really likes this book so he's gonna like the other julia donaldson books so i'll link that specific like set down below as well and then some other books that i got for him was this book called coming to england and it's actually about the windrush generation um which is really interesting but in terms of like the words and everything like it's really really um nice in terms of the length it's perfect for like george's age um, and I just, I just really loved it. It's really cool because it obviously talks about like all of these different people that came to England when they came and like 
you know the things that they face and things like that but in a really like palatable way and it's like really just easy um to digest and like obviously whether or not he understands what i'm saying or not um i think at least i'll enjoy reading this to him so i popped this one in his christmas basket this year so i think he'll really really like this the other ones that i got for him was what to do when you feel like hitting yeah um so this is um i think probably one of the highly the most highly recommended books on amazon at the moment for like toddlers again it was said it was suited for two to five year olds which again brilliant um in terms of the words and everything it's really good like the amount of words on each page um is perfect for a book for george so i wanted to get this for him um and hopefully it'll yeah in time sort of maybe teach him a couple of little techniques as to how to let out his frustration um instead of hitting um so i've bought that one for him which i'll link down below and then a couple more books i got for him on feelings here so it's all about all the different types of feelings it's got sort of little flaps in the book and all those kind of things and like illustrations of being at the park i mean come on absolute win same here like all the different feelings and emotions that you might feel throughout the day um i thought that would be a really good little book for george a toddler that is um exploring the world and coming across those difficult times so i thought that'd be a nice one and then the last one again on the same vein is sometimes i feel angry and it goes again through all of the different ways that you can like maybe not feel as angry it's got little pop-up bits and things like that and i just i just thought these books were like a good little tool to use because he likes reading we read every single night like i said something like this might be a better way of like handling those emotions um or like especially like these are like good little tools for me as a mum as well to like know kind of think things to say and all that kind of stuff so i thought that was a good one some other bits that are a little bit too big to show you in this video but i do have for george and he absolutely loves and may not be in season for christmas but i would highly recommend them in any case like i said george goes outside all the time whether it's rain or shine um so the things that i wanted to mention specifically were a balance bike a balance bike for george has been the best present that he has ever received again it was something he got for his birthday so that was so so appreciated from both him and i um so he got a balance bike and that one was from halfords i believe um but i don't have it with me but i have seen that aldi do balance bikes in a paw patrol theme and also in a peppa pig theme they're exactly the same size as the one that george has so i'll link those ones down below specifically or like i said you can have a look on halfords or amazon or wherever you want i know that the paw patrol and peppa pig ones from aldi are like 30 pounds or 20 pounds or 30 pound mark and like which is really affordable for a balance bike so i would have a look at those if you're looking for something like that it's a really like top notch like gift um like a, it's like a, sto a show stopper gift but it's actually not going to break the bank um because it's only a balance bike and it's not too expensive so that's something that i wanted to mention but i do think that is everything that i have to mention in today's toddler christmas gift guide i really hope you enjoy this video guys please let me know if you are going to grab anything that i've mentioned again everything's linked down below so it's super super easy for you to shop Plus, if you have any recommendations of your own, then please, please, please let me know down in the comments down below. I'll be looking through the comments just to see if there's anything that I could possibly get for George for Christmas. Equally, um, I'm sure that the other people that are watching this video would like some more ideas as well. So definitely let me know any recommendations that you have down below. And also don't forget to hit subscribe if you're looking for other gift guides for the dads, for the mums. I might do a couple of I don't know i want to really i really want to do a gift guide for um small businesses as well which i'm like trying to get together as we speak so definitely keep your eyes out guys but for now i'm going to love you and leave you and i'll see you in the next one bye guys